the commentary position. First of all, what went wrong in the second half? Uh, I think maybe we just took our foot off the ass. Um, they tried to drill it in at half-time. But it was nil-nil. It was a new game. And I think we know from experience with Tipperary this year that they do come back very strong. They're a very game team and they don't lay down. And that proved to be the case. And to be fair to us, um, I think we showed a bit of composure to, to dig out a few scores. But we were very, very lucky that they didn't punish us and uh, come away with a defeat today. So we're going to take a good, uh, hard look at ourselves, I'd imagine, after the day. Tony came off the bench at a time when the sides were level scored a real pressure point and in, in many ways in a game that didn't look that way it was a turning point it was actually I suppose it was maybe a free that I uh, probably should have been hitting myself so he, he showed good courage to stand up it was I suppose the win was sort of favouring him so it, it gave us a great lift put us one up again and then like I say I think for only him in the second half we showed a bit of composure uh, kept the ball till we got a man in space and thankfully we tacked on a few scores at the end I suppose a worry going into training now on Tuesday night will be that you went something like 15 minutes in the opening half without registering a score, 20 in the second, so that's something that will have to be addressed, obviously. Yeah, it's, to be fair, it's something that the management team have been trying to work on with us. Um, it's just it come down to bad decision-making on the day, kicking the ball away. They've played a sweeper and we just kept feeding them with balls the whole day. And it's something that we're really going to need to work on because as the year goes on and the pace of the game becomes higher, um, teams are going to punish us more. So we have a lot of learning to do. Um, but we have, we have a big game now in two weeks. Um, I suppose it's winner take all. It's promotion plus a league final. Um, so we're going to need to, to be 100% ready for it. Now you go to Donegal for that particular game and it's an Ulster clash and the winners, as you say, will be going to Division 1 next year along with Down who won today. So... There are a lot of positives, obviously, Aaron, to be taken from your season. They are, surely. Do you know, I think since 2005, bar once, we struggled to put back-to-back -back victories in the league. Um, we didn't win away from home uh, in any other league games, really. So, do you know, this is, I think, was, we've just won so it's four is it, league games this year. Um, it's definitely a positive. Um, we uh, we come badly unstuck last week and down, and um, we would like to... to I suppose maybe see if we get another crack at them in a league final and see if we maybe rectify some of the mistakes which uh, we had made last week. But it's all to play for in two weeks' time and um, we just need to worry about it first, never mind any promotion or league finals. Still huge interest in the team. People have belief in the team. A massive crowd here again today in Cross Midland. Yeah, it's, it's great to see. It's very uplifting. You know, to be fair... There's wholesale changes in this squad this past few years. You, know, you no longer have the, the standing household names, really, bar maybe Ronan Clark, Stephen McDonald. We're, we're a new panel, young panel, new management team, uh, very eager, but um, I suppose some of that, their eagerness at times went against us today. But um, I think as the year goes up, has been going on, we have been learning slowly but surely from our mistakes, and there's been a steady improvement. So I'd like to see that there happening. We're about seven weeks away from Championship now, so uh, we'll see if we can just keep progressing nicely for it. And finally, would there be an incentive in the Kiernan household to get promotion to Division 1 in the hope that you're playing Galway next season? Well, there'd be an incentive to make sure that Galway was in Division 1 next year, and then as well as we'll see how we can go after that there. Aaron, congratulations. Good luck against Donegal, and uh, a down Armagh final certainly would make a huge difference. That's a very happy Aaron Kiernan. Uh, struggled a little bit, did Armagh in the second half, Austin, but they came good in the end, and they go to Donegal in two weeks' time in a winner-take-all game.